Rob's team, what do you think the nation have been talking about the last week? Oh, uh, is it Gwyneth Paltrow's fanny candle? <laughs> yes. Tell me everything you know about this. <laughs> She's made a candle that smells the same as her vagina. Yes. Thank God it wasn't just me that just... I thought I, I was the only one who heard about this. <laughs> <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow also sells vagina eggs. That it's like resistance training for drug mules. You put like an egg up yourself and then you like go around all day and go to your CEO job or whatever and then you have really strong pelvic floor. And a lovely boiled egg when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump's been knocking around, hasn't he? Oh, he has been knocking Davos, around. Davos, impeachment. I can't take impeachment seriously. <laughs> I mean, it's got peach in it. <laughs> a peach is a joke in the fruit world. <laughs> Never mind in politics. <laughs> a furry fucker. <laughs> Who cares about peach? Sorry, what's a serious fruit, Rob? Apple. Right. <laughs> Which, uh, which uh, you'd be interested to learn uh, Rob can eat through a fence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even turned up for the trial. Trump's not turned up to the trial. He's in Switzerland. Yeah, he's in Davos. Doing yeah. a speech about sustainability and climate change with, was it, seven helicopters, a jet and five jeeps. Yeah, yeah it's so stupid. Like, they all flew in, all these world leaders, on, like, private jets to talk about climate change. It'd be like if I went to go and see my husband to talk about how I must stop cheating on him, but I just, like, rode in on a stranger's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I like the mime that goes with it. <laughs> no, <but>, um, <laughs> Peach, cos he, like, rung someone in the Ukraine. I was like, of all the things he's done, he's been grabbing pussies, bombing around. <laughs> he's given a geezer in Ukraine a bell and everyone's yeah. fuming. <laughs> but honestly, it gives me... It, it scares me that, like, old, crazy men are running the world at the moment. I, I genuinely believe that. But <laughs> aunties should rule the world. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, you know, Rose West was someone's auntie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she never missed a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe they let the Republicans decide whether or not Trump was impeached. Like, of course, he wouldn't be. That's like letting Jimmy do self-assessment. <laughs> no <one's gonna... laughs> uh, that's fair. I can say that. Uh, uh, I've got to stick up for Jimmy here. As a conservative, this guy is fucking inspiration. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is the man that got me into tax avoidance in the first place. <laughs> um, Gemma, what do you make of Trump? He clearly is very strange. Um, <laughs> and he's the point. president of the United States. Yes. This yes. is a concern and a worry. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you talk to me like I've just arrived from space. She yeah. <laughs> right. well, well, doesn't know about Brexit yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, the reason I'm talking like this is because I'm having to think because I'm talking. Yeah, it's a nightmare, isn't it? So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Catherine's team. What do you think the nation have been talking about the last week? Megxit? Megxit. Megxit. What are you They're calling it Megxit because, now nah, we're out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying it's her fault. Like, oh, I don't trust Megan, I don't like the look of her, it's all Megan, she's manipulative. It's amazing how much <laughs> men can get away with. Like, Harry, like, dressed like a Nazi, fought in a war, <laughs> he's naked in Vegas, taking drugs. All he had to do to wipe the slate clean was marry a black woman and fly economy. And now everyone's <laughs> like, he's the Duke of Woke. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of hard to understand how you retire from not having a job. You know what I mean? <laughs> they've just got back from a six-week vacation in Canada, and they've landed, and the first thing they've said is, whoa, this is too much work. <laughs> <laughs> they've just gone on holiday. They've had a nice holiday. And we've all done it. When you come back, you think, right, I'm going to homeschool the kids, <laughs> and we'll make goat's cheese in the door door and then. <laughs> just throw it all in. I think you've nailed it. I think that's what... I think it's that thing where you're on holiday and you're, like, two bottles of Baileys in, yeah. going... Do you know what? I'm not going back. I'm never going back. I'm not going back, they Harry. Don't make me go back. <laughs> Don't make me go back. I can't stand your nan. <laughs> Rob's team, who do you think the nation will be talking about? Greta. Uh, Thunberg. Thunberg. Yeah. The old Thunberg. Head of climate change. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's sort of in charge of climate change. She's passionate about saving the world. I bet her recycling is absolutely on point. <laughs> I reckon she rinses out the peanut butter jar. That is a tough job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who bought Crunchy? Are you mad? <laughs> you just get a jet wash out for that. Mama, I don't even eat it now because of it. <laughs> you know what? You know, I haven't got any kids. I say torch the place. <laughs> I agree with everything she says. When she was doing that speech yeah. there, I agree, everything she says, I agree with, but I don't know what it is. Whenever she speaks, I'm like, oh, fuck off a bit, will ya? <laughs> <laughs>